got football on Sunday. Niners and Raiders, 1 o'clock, Las Vegas. They're scrimmaging in about, uh, say, 50 minutes or so. 8.50 practice starts down at Henderson, Nevada. We got the Warriors schedule release for opening night. Woo! They're playing the Phoenix Suns Christmas Day. They're going to Denver. Who's their coach? Who's coach? The Phoenix Suns. Oh, uh, Frank Vogel. That's right. They hired Vogel. He's a champion. Frank Vogel. Damn right. <laughs> Frank Vogel. He's got that Mickey Mouse ring. Frank Vogel. Uh, Kevin Durant. Bro, you've got burrito all over your teeth, bro. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. eat no burrito. There you go. No, I'm good. No, that was me. That was me that ate the burrito. Meat lovers. Yeah. Hey. I added spinach, though. It makes me feel yeah. better when I add spinach to it. It's my protein. Bar I love you, bro. Is that what it was? Whatever. The protein. What do you mean, whatever? Well, it Soto. smells like burrito SOT. in here. I don't know what's SOT. going on. That is Spinotti was in here during the break eating his burrito. Right. SOTA weight loss dot com. From four or five. Uh, I love this show. Uh, and yeah, it might not last another year, but no other show will ever move the needle huh. like the morning roast. Let's go. Yeah, I Steady Guru would disagree with that. Willard Diz would disagree with that. I'm not gonna say that. Hey, I appreciate the compliment, four one five. We just try to do what we do. We may be on the air for another year, maybe on the air another six months. Who the hell knows? I feel like I'm better than you. Yeah, <laughs> no yeah, way. See, uh, when did he ever say that? What was the context of that drop? <laughs> I don't know. I love knowledge and history. I feel like I'm better than you. Play that again. Mia, <laughs> what are you doing calling? <laughs> Explain to me what happened there. Uh, do you want to hear the full clip? Yeah, I'd love to. I've All never right, heard we'll it. We'll get the Rhea Lancaster. Uh, let's do it right now. Rhea Lancaster, what's happening? You're on the roast. Hi, guys. What's up, Rhea? Long time no talk. I know. I love you guys so much. Now that I'm listening, when I don't call, I'm still listening. See, I knew so the ladies that. loved us. I knew the ladies loved us. I see some of y'all at practice here. Like, we're listening. I was like, what? The ladies like listening to arts? Right, whatever. Hey, Rhea, we love you too. <laughs> so I wanted to shout out whoever scheduled the 49er Raider real football game mm. on my birthday mm. on Sunday. Because that's a present to me. That cool. I get to see real football on my birthday. 18 again? Oh, absolutely. 18 plus maybe 20. I don't know. Ah, man. Who's counting? Hey, Who's 25, counting? age of like five Y, baby. Exactly. Let's go. Exactly. What are you excited to see on Sunday? I want to see Trey start. I need to see him play. I watched his new way of throwing. And I'm telling you right now, I feel like that boy. If you give him some time, he's going to be good. I need him to play. Yes. We, how about all the Sam Darnold talk for you? See it. Does that get on your nerves, all the Sam Darnold talk? Yes, Monte, it does. And I want to thank you for, for like all the things that you say. I, I don't want to see Sam Darnold. I just don't. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. <laughs> you no. sound like my dad. My dad said the same thing. I'm just not interested in seeing Sam Darnold play. I'm not. Because I noticed, like, I used to bowl on a bowling league, and I noticed that when I would, throw, like, a in my arm out and throw my bowling ball, I was more likely to get a strike. I see Trey extending his arm straight, so I feel like that ball's going to go further. Mm. I just I just love what I'm seeing, and I need to see it in a real game. Well, we're going to yeah. really see it on Sunday. Happy birthday, Happy Rhea. Birthday. Thanks for calling. And thanks for being a roaster. You. Absolutely. Hell absolutely. Yeah. It feels like, a, feels like a football season type of show. Well, it is. It does. It feels like a football season type of show. The chat's rolling right now. As soon as you mobile text, I take it all. They take it all kind of shots at it, and I love it. I love it. Do you, do you smell that? On Sunday. Wait, do you smell that? What? Also, I think I smell the NBA coming back too. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Well, we got the deal. Because I can, I can feel the <laughs> fire <laughs> coming from Sacramento <laughs> and the <laughs> anger of them not getting a hey, Christmas Day game. Kitty Caraway, Damian Barley, I love you guys. You guys are our brothers, part of the same company. You guys own Sacramento, ESPN 1320. But I tried to warn you when y'all was rocking those Gucci's. Y'all was rock. Y'all was rocking Balenciaga sweaters during the first round. Oh, their outfits are top notch. Oh, they they are the most fitted, fashionable show in, in the nation. Yeah, they got fits heads out. I yeah. give them that. Yeah, I'm they very jealous. Class. I'm very they jealous. got style. Yeah. I can't pull off what they pull off. Well, not only do they have a closet full of wardrobe that I would, uh, you know, love to, you know, own because it shows me they're making good money, but simultaneously I can't pull off any of the outfits I they're mean, pulling they're, off. They're, the shoes. They're rocking Lucas. They're rocking Tatum's. They're rocking Jordans. They're rocking mm. Kyrie. They're rocking everything. Mm. But do they have Gucci's? But will they be able to wear Gucci's? Oh, Damian Barley has Gucci's. Oh, does he? You better believe it. He's got Gucci's, Louis V's. He's got it all. But you won't be wearing them on Christmas Day to go to one center.
unless there's a concert or something. They're not giving out free food for everybody on Christmas or giving out presents to all the kids out there in the 916. Ain't no basketball being played in the 916 on Christmas Day. I try to tell y'all boys that. You got to pick the playoffs at least two years in a row to get a Christmas Day game. And you may not get the Christmas Day game you like. You may be in a nightcap. <laughs> you may get that Portland Utah game. <laughs> it would say bad. You got to start somewhere. The Warriors had to start there against the Clippers. You got to start somewhere. You know. So B, that's so mean. That's not mean. I love. I love the Kings. I love my guys. They gonna be Kenny. Gonna be hot today on the show. He's going to be hot <laughs> about this Christmas Day slate. So I'm looking at it right here. Bucks Knicks, 76ers Heat. Celtics, Lakers, Mavericks, Suns, Warriors, Nuggets, Christmas. They could have done away with the Mavericks. Well, Luke is a big draw. He is. Rather see Clippers, Suns. We, yeah. we don't even know if they're going to be healthy. Yeah. So wait, the Sixers are not the Sixers are the Sixers. Heat. I said I said Sixers Bucks, Knicks, Sixers, Heat. That's a good one. Yeah, because Philly and, yep. and, and Miami That's do not like one. each other. Celtics, Lakers. You know, got to tug at the heartstrings. Mavs, Suns. Warriors Nuggets. Yeah. Well, also the San Jose asked me, Bonte, when does the pool watch start? Well, we will be watching about Christmas. <laughs> Wizards not scheduled for Christmas Day. Are the Wizards scheduled for any presentations on national television? Probably not until they play the Golden State Warriors. Even then, we don't even know. So yeah, I'm hyped. And then opening night at Chase Center. So I was thinking about this. We were talking about this in the show meeting. Think about the Bay Area, folks. All you fans out there. Think about what we've gone through in the Bay Area the last year. What's that? We've had the Warriors open up against the Lakers two seasons in a row. Yeah, LeBron versus, versus Steph is pretty cool. Down to Staples and then last yeah, year that's pretty on cool. ring night. And then now they open up against Kevin Durant yeah, and the Phoenix Suns. That's pretty cool. That's juicy. Yeah, it is. The Giants opened up in Yankee Stadium. They opened up their season in Yankee Stadium. Against the guy who shunned them in free agency. And he hit a home run. First at bat. Oh, what did I tell season. you? I told you. you should have, if you... Uh, so... So not only that, uh, the Niners. I hate you. Think about I the hate Niners. You. Think about the Niners. <laughs> They've opened up two years in a row against blue blood iconic organizations. The Chicago Bears last season at Soldier Field, and this year they're going to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for one of the more iconic franchises in all of North America. The, the matchup Pittsburgh that Steelers. we haven't seen in the Super Bowl, Niners Steelers. Right, and we all thought we were going to get that. So in the Bay Area, we've been lucky with the openers, man. Some juicy openers. Kevin Durant coming to Chase Center for the 18,000 cool. plus. It's pretty to cool. open the season. Chris Paul. Sure beats 2019. Giants versus the Tampa Bay Rays yeah, that's why to they start the year That's off. why they go there. That's why they go there. Who did they start against last year? What, the Royals or something? No, that was no, the No, Royals opener. were the, were the, the opener, opener here because I went to that yeah, game. Yeah. And my wife goes, I can't name one, one, one Royal. I go, <laughs> most people Wood can't. Jr. But there's Matt Duffy. Oh, my God. They won that series, too. Yeah, they I did. think they only have 37 wins right now. Bobby Wood Jr. Wow. had a home run in game Giants three. Giants lost that series? Yeah, they did. I remember. Could have gotten swept, I think. Yeah, Bobby Wood Jr. has been on fire. Yeah. Duffy well. got some big cheers that series, too. Yeah, everybody loves his fat-ass cat. Rest in peace, Skeeter or you Scooter or whatever. Cat. The cat was right, overweight. Peter. PETA is going to be on you. Well, you know what? PETA can sue my ass because I'm telling you right now, PETA should have been on their job and telling the cat to get on a diet. <laughs> the cat needed soda. Not me at the time. The cat needed soda. The cat couldn't even couldn't even sit straight, uh, <laughs> and that's the, the owner. Was, that's the owner's fault too. Yeah. Duffy, come on, man. The cat was so damn fat, had to lay down. Well, couldn't do anything. Couldn't well, even stand on his paws. My two dogs. I monitor the food bowl. Like I put it down. You only get a little bit, and then I pull it back up because a they fight over the food. Number one, and number two, they. Um, I don't want them fat, boy. I don't want a big fat dog. I, I saw. By the way, I saw a pit bull yesterday on one of these TikToks. This thing was humongous. This this pit bull had to have been 250 pounds. Wow. Wow. Listen, we 